Welcome back. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question yourself, please visit our website, www.quranspeaks.com. Okay, Brother Shapiro, here's a question about uh, finding the right mosque. And the person is asking, how do you determine uh, which mosque promotes moderate teaching? Well, by, you can ask uh, the, the question, and of course everyone will say our everyone mosque represents moderate, the moderate. Yes. Uh, but, but the specific questions you should be asking or, or, or listening for in, in khutbas and sermons and, so, and, and in the gener general demeanor of the way things are conducted in the mosque is that look at, at uh, who the speakers are. Um, are, are the speakers known for their involvement in civic uh, activity? Are they part of the community or are they isolationist? Mm. Um, the preachings themselves, are they encourage pe encouraging people to get involved with their neighborhoods, uh, to uh, be very much of the landscape, to be involved in the po politics of the land, for example? Or are the preachings isolationist? Uh, are the preachings saying like it's us versus them, everything that they have is wrong and everything that we have is right? Or is it integrated? and saying that there is a lot of good there in the society and uh, whatever good is there in the society that's Islamic as well we should embrace it welcome it and we should uh, recognize that to be Islam mm -hmm. so uh, we, we can see this kind of tone in a moderate uh, preaching that is encouraging people to be very much a part of their landscape as opposed to a radical type of I ideology that says it's us versus them they're very different very wrong and we've got to fix them mm -hmm. so if, if that is the uh, mindset well then uh, that will make Muslims feel out of place. It may uh, make Muslims feel very uncomfortable in their environments and uh, very less likely to assimilate and integ integrate in, in, a, in a harmonious fashion leading to peace and uh, longevity of the Muslim society within uh, the various environments. Mm -hmm. Is there anything internally uh, uh, that one would feel as part of the congregation in terms of the message given to Muslims themselves? Um, about how they should behave or how they should dress or whatever um, that would make it obvious that you know this is a, this is not a moderate mosque. Well, the the, the, the moderate um, um, sort of outlook would would stress the use of reason uh, of doing things in a reasonable way uh, that looks good and feels good and feels right. Uh, whereas uh, the radical types of ideology would more tend to say no reason is a bad thing. Don't think about it. You just look at the prescriptions the way they are. Uh, either uh, you look at a text where it says literally and just f simply follow that, um, regardless of whether it seems to make sense or not. So mm -hmm. uh, th th that, that is one demarcation between the moderate view and, and the radical view. Mm -hmm. I think this is a very important question because many people are coming to Islam and they're not quite, you know, they, m they might be getting to know what Islam is about and they come to a mosque, they're not quite sure how to judge it. Uh, so, so it's great that you've provided these guidelines. Yes, and of course, so one one needs to keep one's eyes open and uh, and listen for conversations and and uh, try to observe uh, where a certain teaching is heading and asking uh, is this teaching heading towards uh, helping Muslims, especially youth, to feel good about where they live and about the country uh, that they're citizens of, mm. or, or is this uh, teaching really causing the the youth to feel that they're like fish out of water? Uh, that this is a very strange and difficult environment and we've got to fix it in some way. Mm, all right, we'll leave it at that. Thank you for your time, Brother Shabir. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Visit our website, www.quranspeaks.com and check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Quranspeaks. As always, please continue to write to us. Your comments and questions help guide the show. I'm Safiya Ali. For all of us here at Let the Quran Speak, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar